Okay guys, so welcome back again. So in this video, let's set up Nginx as reverse proxy and we'll be also setting up our domain name. So firstly, as we can see that the remote server IP addresses or our production server's IP address is this IP address. So firstly, let me copy this IP address. And now what I'll do, I'll go to my domain host here. So I have purchased my domain domain on GoDaddy, but you can use any provider that is uh, that is from where you can purchase domains, which is cheapest for you. So here I've purchased this domain name that is called nightall.fun. So let's point this domain to our server here. So for that, what I'll do, I'll simply add two records here. Firstly, the type of the record we want to add would be an A record and the host would be at, and then it points to our server's IP address. So here for the type, you need to select A. For the host, you need to type in at, and then it points to this IP address, which is the IP address of our remote machine. So for the time to live, let's set it to half an hour, but it is uh, like done in a couple of seconds or so. So let's save this. And now let me create one more record here. So let's click on add, and it is a canonical name record. So I'll simply select C name here. For the host, we'll provide in www and this would point to at. This simply means that this at is pointing to our A record here. So therefore, it points to at here. That is, some if someone goes to www.nightowl.fun, then he would be directed to our nightowl.fun IP address. That is this IP address. So therefore, we need to provide in a CNAME record also for www. And now for the time to live, I'll set it to half hour or 30 minutes. And now let's click on save. And now if everything went well, then what we can do, as we can see, let's copy this uh, remote server's IP address and let's go here to this IP address on port 4000. So we see that our app is running on this IP address and this port here, that is 4000, which we started in the previous video. So if I go to my domain here, that is nightall.fun, and let me paste this uh, uh, domain name here, we see that this site cannot be reached. but if I provide in the port here, that is 4000, then if everything went well or the record is pointing to my domain, uh, to my server's IP address, then we should be getting back a response here. So we see that we are getting back a response that is nightall.fun and the port is 4000. And similarly, our another instance is running on 4001. So it is reachable by this thing here. So we know that now our domain is pointing to our remote server's IP address. So now we can proceed ahead setting up nginx. So let's go to our terminal here. And the first thing which I need to do, I need to install nginx. So the installation of nginx is super simple. So I'll simply do sudo dnf install nginx and it will take a couple of seconds. And for this, I need to press y and enter. Now the nginx thing is complete. So if I do nginx hyphen v, uh, we see that we have this version here that is 1.14.1 .1. and now let's go back once again and now let's simply go to nightall.fun so nightall.fun we see that this site cannot be reached but what we need to do here we need to start nginx server here so what we'll do we'll simply say sudo not susto but sudo uh, systemctl start nginx like this so our server is started and if now we reload the page that is in http uh, http call to our nightall.fun we see now we get back this response here that is welcome to nginx on red hat enterprise linux so we see that nginx is working but now we need to do one more thing or firstly let me show you one more thing so let me clear out the console and now if i do systemctl status uh, nginx then we see that it is active and running but as soon as the server will reboot the nginx server will not be auto started because it is disabled here as you can see that on restart it is disabled so we need to enable nginx so that the nginx server is always restarted as soon as the system reboots so for that what we need to do we need to do uh, sudo systemctl enable nginx like this and now we see that a symlink has been created and now if I again do systemctl status nginx then we see that this is active and this is enabled here which this enabled means that the nginx server would be restarted by itself as soon as the system will reboot. So now our nginx installation is complete and now let me clear out the console here and now let me simply sudo as the root user so I'll simply do sudo su to switch to the root user and now what i'll do i'll simply set up nginx as reverse proxy so let's cd into the folder here that is hc nginx 
and if I do ls here we see that here we have a couple of files that is the conf.d directory in which we'll be defining our nightall.fun conf file configuration file and this is the nginx configuration so let's have a look at the nginx conf here so let's do cat nginx.conf so we see that we have uh, these many things here and basically whatever we are seeing here on this page that is this all stuff is provided by this server block here so this is the thing here and uh, now what i'll do is that that i'll create a file inside this folder that is hc nginx control d and then we'll create our own configuration file for nginx which would be included before this server block here so to create that con file what i'll do i'll simply copy the server block from here because it would make us easier to do things inside that uh, configuration file and now what i'll do i'll simply do ls here and let's cd into the conf.d directory and let me clear out so let's see that the directory is currently currently empty so here i'll create a file called uh, night owl dot fun dot conf and this is my naming convention about configuration files because in nginx you can host as many domains as you like but here i am simply hosting one domain that is nightall.fun so i am simply creating a file name nightall.fun.conf and now let's uh, press enter to open it in vim and now what i'll do i'll paste in some code here which we just copied that is the server block here so let me paste in that server block that is this block here and now here what we need to do we need to do a couple of things here inside this uh, server file that is the server block for nightall.fun so firstly we need to provide in the server name so let's go here and firstly i'll delete this root thing here from here so let me press escape and double d to delete the root thing and now for the server name i'll provide nightall.fun and www.nightall.fun so i'll say let me go to the insert mode i'll say night owl dot fun and then this server block is also responsible for handling this uh, uh, path also that is www dot night owl dot fun like this and now we can press escape just to get out of the insert mode and now what we need to do oh we need to de delete these two lines because it is not necessary here because it is copied from the default location so it is there so we do not need that thing here and now what i'll do i'll simply delete these two error pages block here so let me delete in these blocks from here because it is not required here uh, we only require the location block here and as you saw that i just uh, deleted another curly braces here which was the part of the server block and now inside this location block that is any request coming to nightall.fun or www.nightall.fun should be proxy to our node.js application running on port 4000 so let me define the proxy pass here inside this location block so i'll say proxy underscore pass and then it would be redirected to http localhost port 4000 so currently i'm not doing load balancing here we would be doing that later on in the video or later on in the series but here this is the only thing required to make your nginx work as reverse proxy for your node.js application so this is all what you need to do here and we need to set a couple of headers here just outside the location block and it is very necessary to do this because if you want to access the ip address that is accessing the node.js application then you need to pass in the actual uh, host name to the node.js application because otherwise node.js will get the host name as the local host because nginx is on the same host as our node.js application so we need to define some some proxy set header lines here so let me copy it from my repo and let me copy it and let me paste it here and now what we need what we did here is this that whenever we try to access the host from our node.js application then the actual host that is the client would be passed on to the node.js application and similarly the x real ip header would also be passed to the node.js application and the x forwarded for header would also be passed to the node.js application if we haven't done this then for all the three things node.js application would simply think that it is coming from a local uh, local host that is these all three values would be 127.0.0.1 because nginx is on the same host as our node.js application so you need to also uh, 
set these headers here for your node.js application so now let's simply escape and write and quit this file and now if i go here and if i try to reload the page we see that we are being served with the same thing here so what we need to do we need to reload nginx so if i simply do nginx hyphen t to validate the configuration file that we just created that is this night all dot fun we see that we have an error here that is the test is field because it says a duplicate default server for this thing is present inside the con file so let's try to check up our nginx file which we created that is the night all dot fun file and we see that here we have defined in the default server but instead this uh, this uh, this thing should not be present inside this night all dot fun thing here so what we need to do here we need to delete this default server from here so let's go to the insert mode and let's delete this default server from here it should only be running on port 80 and the, it, it is not a default server here the default server server is already serving this page so this cannot be a default server so now let me simply press colon wq to write and quit and now if i do nginx hyphen t then everything should be fine so we see that now we are getting this message here that is test is successful and now what we can do we can simply say systemctl uh, reload nginx like this and now if we go back and if we try to reload this domain here that is nightall.fun we should be getting our response from this thing here that is this message here so let's try to reload the page and we see that we are getting bad gateway so this is what i was expecting here that is we should be getting a bad gateway and it is only because of sa linux because sa linux does not allow application to application communication and our nginx is trying to access our node.js application which is disabled by default in sa linux so to fix this thing what we need to do we need to go to our terminal here and as root what i'll need to do i'll need to issue one command here so let me clear out the console first and now what you need to do uh, you have two things here you can uh, you can uh, issue this command that is uh, you can start sa linux in permissive mode so that is this command that is se manage permissive httpd underscore t and this should be like hyphen a but i would advise against this command this is not uh, something which you should do that is to start http connections in permissive mode inside your linux system that is uh, that is enforcing se linux but instead of this command what you can do you can simply allow a http network to connect so you can issue this command that is set c bool not set c book but set c bool hyphen p to persist this uh, command httpd underscore can network connect to on you can pass on or you can pass in one uh, or you can pass in one here both works because it's a it's a boolean here so i'm passing in on here and now it takes some time a couple of seconds and now if we go back and if we try to reload the page we see that now we have our nginx working as reverse proxy and we do not manually need to specify the port here because this is running by default on port 80 it is an http connection not an https connection so we see that nginx reverse proxy is working though load balancing is not working because explicitly we have defined the reverse proxy path to be the path of our instance running on port 4000 so this is how we enable nginx as reverse proxy and if we go to any other route that does not exist on our server then we see that we are getting a response back from our application that is 404 not found and not from nginx so guys that's all about this video so see you in the next one